Hello friends, welcome to my channel Medicine Era. I am Mohit Sharkar. I am a pharmacist now working as an assistant professor in a pharmacy college situated in West Bengal. Uh, I would like to uh, share some views as a pharmacist for the future prospects after the completion of the pharmacy education with all of you. Okay. So our today's topic is the main prospects or future prospects of pharmacy education in India as well as worldwide. So before starting about the pharmacy prospects in our country or worldwide, you have to know who is a pharmacist. Okay. So pharmacist is a professional who is mainly the bridge between the patient and doctors. Okay. Pharmacist is basically a professional who is responsible for the manufacturing of that medication and at last the dispensing of the medication. So this total process is mainly handled by pharmacists. So this is a peak time for all the students who are mainly in 10 plus 2 plus level are confused about their career or they are introducing or they are trying to introduce themselves in different type of career avenue. and many of them have want to build up their career in pharmacy or pharmaceutical technology. So I would like to share my views about the future prospects of pharmaceutical education in India and in abroad. Many give the course of Diploma in Pharmacy, Bachelor in Pharmacy and after in future that is Master in Pharmacy. Okay, I have written a flowchart which will discuss in about the prospects of pharmacy education in India and worldwide. Okay, so this is future prospect of pharmacy education. Okay. So at first we have to discuss about pharma industry. Okay. So there are other many two sectors in pharma industry. One is manufacturing sector and one is marketing or sales and marketing sector. Okay. So in case of manufacturing, a pharmacist would be placed in production or manufacturing of the particular pharmaceutical or ingredients or the medications. And QC means quality control and also as a QA pharmacist will be quality assurance pharmacist. Okay. In case of marketing or sales and marketing sector, they have also been placed. Okay. So these are the main two avenues where a pharmacist can be placed as in industry background. In India and in worldwide, there are several pharma giants. Okay. So many of the students of uh, bachelor in pharmacy or diploma in pharmacy or as well as master in pharmacy are placed in different type of uh, pharma industry worldwide okay so this is the first career avenue okay one of the fittest and most respective career avenues is research okay and in research there are many two segments one is r and d research and development and one is f and d means formulation and development okay this formulation and development side is also merged with that manufacturing. Okay, so in case of a manufacturing pharmacist, he or she might be appointed also in FND or formulation and development. Okay, and in research and development, this section will be carried out when a pharmacist has upgraded himself into him or herself into master in pharmacy or any higher education, mainly PhD, doctorate, etc. Okay. So this is all about research. Okay. In government sector, there are different segments in pharmacy education or different pharmaceutical avenues. Mainly they can work as drug inspectors. Okay. Also as hospital pharmacists, mainly government hospitals, they are working as government hospital pharmacists. In really armed forces, mainly army, there will be uh, BSF, etc. etc. They can also engage themselves as a pharmacist. Okay. In case of community pharmacy, mean in case of retail, in case of wholesale, in case of sales of the medication or sales of the medicines, they have also appointed them as community pharmacist. Okay. In case of community pharmacist, there will be retail, there will be wholesale, etc. etc. And one of the newest avenue of pharmacy education or pharmacy prospect is pharmacology. So nowadays, different type of IT giants are now hiring this type of students, mainly girls and boys, from pharmacy background as pharmaco vigilance official. Okay, so uh, this avenue is a very glamorous job and have different type of prospects in case of their career enlargement. Okay, 
So academics is also a part in case of pharmacy profession because many of the students like me are going to do the M farm or master in pharmacy and they have come into the academic sector. Okay, or in case of pharmacy education sector. Okay. And this is the flowchart which indicating the propagation of that pharmacy education. Mainly a student can start the pharmacy education from diploma in pharmacy. This is a two years course, then he upgrade himself or herself into bachelor in pharmacy, which is mainly three years after diploma in pharmacy. And if a student is directly introducing himself or herself in bachelor in pharmacy, then it will be four years. Okay. And after the bachelor in pharmacy or completion of the bachelor in pharmacy, he or she will transfer himself into master in pharmacy. This is two years course. And after that completion of master in pharmacy, he or she will uh, do the PhD or doctorate in particular subject. So this is the main career avenues of a pharmacist. And there are also different type of career avenues are there. I have just mentioned some important ones which are mainly responsible for the propagation of pharmacy education or pharmacy profession in India and abroad. So I hope that I will give you some definite information about what are the future prospects of pharmacy education in worldwide as well as in India. And uh, according to my opinion, this is a very good career for your choice. And if you uh, give your mindset to broaden your career, product your career in pharmacy, then you are in your right way to choice. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe my channel and also hit the like button. You, if you think that this video is satisfactory for yourself. So thank you very much. Thank you for your patience and have a nice day ahead. Thank you.